RV manufacturers do a lot of things right, but they also tend to do a lot of things terribly, terribly not right. Also known as wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keith and I just got back from the Hershey RV show in Pennsylvania, and we had the opportunity to walk through so many different rigs, and we took note of a lot of things that we really love and that we really hate in the new 2023 models. Does that mean that I waltzed into tons of RVs and acted like a complete fool at the largest RV show in the country? Look at all that room. We are the champions, my friend. How's that feel? It's comfortable. <laughs> Absolutely, I did. First in the lineup of things that we just can't with is gimmicky vibrating chairs. Notice how I did not call them massaging chairs. That's because it would be offensive to nail salons everywhere if I compared these chairs to the delightfully aggressive chairs that pummel me in the back while I'm getting an $85 pedicure. Let's try the furniture. <laughs> Look, I understand that the idea of these chairs is to have a nice, relaxing, heated massage while you're sitting down in the evening and watching your favorite TV show, but the reality is they feel like there's a sack of angry bees stored in the back cushion of the chair. Really, RV manufacturers, just stop pouring your time and money into these gimmicky vibrating chairs because there are plenty of other places that you could be spending your money in RVs, which leads me into basically all of my next points. Start investing money into more practical things, like carrying capacity. Oh, this one gets me fired up. <laughs> One, this is the one for me. This one hits. This one hits. This one hits. <laughs> so this one has a GVWR of 16,800 pounds, minus its unloaded weight of 15,248 pounds, 1,500 pounds of carrying capacity. That's ridiculous. I have 1,500 pounds worth of clothes. <laughs> Hold on, I need my seat for this. Look, people who design RVs, you're actually making the world a more dangerous place when you do things like this, because people are not going to look at it and go, oh, I only have 1,500 pounds, let me take only half the stuff I normally take. They're gonna take it all, and they're not gonna care. And now everybody's overweight, so it's kind of your fault. Kinda. To help visualize what we're talking about here, I've got a perfect, I've got a perfect analogy. So, Rainy's a sensitive little sunflower. She gets cold, and when you're cold, what do you buy? You buy you buy a sweater. So Rainy, I bought you a new sweater. Oh, you did? And I would like you to put it on. Okay. Just Thanks. put it on. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll put it on. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> now, this, this is your RV with undersized axles and weight rating. And you can give me this whole argument, oh, you can upgrade. Well, you can upgrade the sweater to a full sweater. That's not the point. Nobody wants a half a sweater when they buy it. They want the whole sweater. They want all the weight capacity when they buy an RV. So stop with this half weight capacity nonsense and just go with the full weight capacity. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, see, yeah, now you've got us both all fired up about what we hate about RVs. So let's just, let's let past dramatic Rainy take the lead on this next point. I loathe entirely these tiny little infant sinks. Put your paws in there. But like more, how am I supposed to wash my face? Looks fine. It's not fine. Cute tiny sink montage. Sometimes it's hard being a human being with basic hygiene requirements. But don't worry, not all of the sinks in new RVs are made for dollhouses and hobbits. Okay, you get it. Stop with the tiny sinks. Now this next thing that Keith and I hate is found in 
all RVs across the universe. And it is definitely something that we can all universally agree upon as awful. RV mattresses. They are so, so uncomfortable. Even the fanciest and most expensive RVs at the show had mattresses that felt like I was laying on a giant lumpy rock. And maybe the idea is that there are so many different people with so many different mattress preferences that you can just go out and buy your own after purchasing the RV, which is a perfect lead in to a message from our sponsor. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for top of the line quality and comfort. All of their mattresses are made right in the US and ship directly to your front door or to your RV or to your van down by the river for free. They offer different firmness options, mattress heights, and dimensions to fit right into your lifestyle. When we were searching for an RV mattress, we were looking for something that was lightweight while actually being comfortable. So we purchased the Dream Foam Hybrid mattress in Firmness Medium, and what has impressed me the most is definitely the comfort. On our old mattress, I used to wake up and complain about headaches constantly, but ever since we switched to this mattress three months ago, I never complain about headaches in the morning. What are you most impressed with, Keith? No more complaints of headaches. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a pretty big decision, and I should probably sleep on it. Eh? Wow. <laughs> Luckily for you, all of Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses come with a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So, you can sleep on it all you want. Oh my god, is that <laughs> continued? <laughs> if you are looking for a new RV mattress, or if you just bought a new RV because Trust me, you're looking for a new mattress. Then check out rvmattress.com. You can click the link below or go to rvmattress.com slash Keith and Rainey and get 20% off using code Keith and Rainey. Now let's switch gears and start talking about the things that we loved to see in the new RVs. Starting with multi-bedroom floor plans. Now, does that mean that you're going to have to buy multiple new mattresses now? Probably, but holy possibilities, Batman. This one? has a second bedroom, which is crazy. There's so many possibilities in here. You could have an office, next to the bed, so much room for activities, or you could have 18 children, or you could hit the road with your best friend and have a roommate. Oh. Another two bedroom, separate bunkhouse, a separate room. You want to see something cool? Amazing. There are so many cool floor plans with multiple large rooms in them. Some of them are second bedrooms with second large bathrooms attached to them. Some of them are second living quarters that have large beds that come down from the ceiling. And some of them are separated offices. But I thought this was the pantry. How's that feel? It's comfortable. I cannot express to you how happy it makes us to see RV layouts that consider the working nomad. Even RVs that now have a designated little office space within the typical floor plans that we usually see. And this is so important because I don't know if you all remember the year 2020, but something happened that year that created a ton of work from home jobs. And we know a lot of people who now travel and work remote. So we love to see office spaces in RVs, 10 out of 10, Keep it up. Another noteworthy improvement that we saw in a lot of the new models was brighter and more modern interiors. Overall, we were very impressed with the look and design of these RVs and could tell that manufacturers are finally listening to the suggestions of their customers. However, we did see a few things that were a bit questionable from a designer's choice. Are those tie downs for night fun? <laughs> I don't think they thought of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so give us your thoughts on things that you love and hate to see in new RVs. And let's chat about it in the comments because that's one of the reasons we started this channel was to create community and to connect with you. I hope you had fun hanging out with us today. If you're curious of what we're up to lately, check out this playlist right here and we'll see you on the next one.